Hi, my name's Kelsey, and today on Less Than Six Minutes, we are going to talk about a bombing in Alabama. This was called the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing and happened in a church in Birmingham, Alabama. On September 15, 1963, the Ku Klux Klan bombed the church. This was an act of white supremacist terrorism. They did it by planting 15 sticks of dynamite throughout the church with timers on them to go off at a certain time. On the Sunday morning, five girls were getting ready for Sunday school in the bathroom on the east side of the building. Four of these girls died and there were 14 other injuries. This bombing caused national widespread outbreak and thousands of angry black protesters gathered at the church. When police tried to break up, violence broke out across the whole city. Two African Americans died. The National Guard was even called in. Since then, the case has been closed and reopened several times. This bombing did help end segregation and did the exact opposite of what the bombers intended. Even though this was an event, even though this event was a tragedy to everyone who was affected, it turned out to help in the end. In 2006, the church was declared a National Historic Landmark, and in 2013, the four girls that were killed were awarded Congressional Gold Medals. So, to this day, the bombing still affects people and will live on in memory. Welcome back to Less Than 60 Seconds. For our second story, we will cover Wilma Rudolph and her legacy. She was born June 23, 1940, as Wilma Glodine Rudolph. She was born with a disability, forcing her to wear orthopedic shoes until she was 11 years old. This never stopped her from following her dreams, though. She grew to be the star basketball player of her school in Clarksville, Tennessee. From there, she competed in the 1956 Olympic Games, winning a bronze medal and setting a world record in the 200-meter race. She instantly became a legend, being inducted into the Olympic Hall of Fame and has won three gold medals since. Along with the Olympic Hall of Fame, she was inducted into the National Track and Field Hall of Fame. Wilma Rudolph is an inspiration to many runners, and her legend will live on forever.